So Hamster All Stars is a cute sandbox game from Sock Pop Collective, where you build crazy courses and then race hamsters for some reason. So you'll enjoy this one the most if you treat this mainly as a building sandbox to experiment with. I and mean, you do have money here, but that's just used to unlock new course parts. Building courses doesn't actually cost anything. Or you make money by betting money on which one of the two teams of hamsters will win. Although be aware that the course design itself has no bearing on which team will win, you influence the race by nudging the hamsters with your mouse. As we'll see here, um, it's giving us a bit of an offer, we're going to bet 10 quid, we've got 99, either on Team Blue or Team Red. Team Blue is made up of only one hamster, Team Red has two. This is random every time. So we get more money if we bet on Team Blue, who's, you know, like less likely to win. So Team Blue is in the lead. So we don't really need to do anything yet. Off they go. Bang, 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 bang. I just have to get through this funnel and down to, into the cup of dreams. And yes, Team Blue um, won. Uh, without any interference from me at all, uh, which is rather cool. Although you can, if you see, if you can right click on them, you can change their. Uh, direction at random. Or if you left click on them, uh, the camera will follow them. It's not really a very good one to follow this admittedly, and when things die they will respawn. So yeah, they're very, very simple course this, I just whipped this up in like literally like two minutes. And very straightforward, there's lots of, lots of little things you can add to it, uh, magic tubes, a lot of these stuff you have to unlock. Um, anyway, let's leap on to uh, one, a, more of a complicated one that I've been putting together. Here we go. So we start up here, and uh, the mice, hamster lads, whatever the hell they are, will go down to the funnel and they'll have a bit of an adventure over here. Go up a ramp around here and eventually to the goal. Uh, there's a few bugs I've found in this so far, which hopefully will be fixed at some point. Like, um, there's this really cool elevator travelator type thing, but for some reason it doesn't seem to work properly. There's also a really good, cool hamster plushie, which is not a bug, it's a hamster plushie. So what have we got this time? It's one versus four. So again, I, I like the idea of just going for one, because then, then we know what's going on. And we've got a bit more scope for interference here, so yes, we want blue to win. So here we go, through the funnel of dreams, and the blue one's already through there first. So that's handy. Bounce, over here. The blue one's really good, I'm going to influence you. Stay back, stay back, there we go. Unfortunately now, this, this gets a bit tricky, because we have to get them into one of the tubes. Go back, oh no, the ball, the ball's in play. Come back. There we go. I don't think it's going to hit. Come on, get through a tube. Uh-oh, one of the reds have got through. Okay, that needs to be stopped. Thankfully the blue is not far behind. Here we go, up the ramps. Careful of the bumpers. Oh, the bumper, the blue got bumped. As did the red. <laughs> okay, the balls are getting involved. Also the dice. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. Oh, come back. They really do not want to hit the bumpers. The ball's having a go. Uh oh, the blue one seems to be stuck. Hang on, there we go. A bit of manual interference, absolutely mandatory there. Oh, I think the blue one slept through. Oh dear, no, no! Get back, there we go, here we go. I might have made that bit too... Oh, uh, ooh! Ooh, you little shit. Thankfully, yes, it got caught in a little trap there. The blue one has done it! <laughs> Red one very close behind. So there's only there's only like four hamsters. Oh, that one's still scuttling around all over the place. There's only we only actually had four or five hamsters this time. Sometimes you get a shit ton, depending on what the game fancies. Like if you do it again, what do we get? Eight versus seven. So this is going to be a bit more manic. So again, let's go for the blue, uh, and see what happens when there's a shit ton of lads flapping about the place. This funnel can get a bit. Um, <laughs> We can get stuck in this funnel, thankfully this is not happening this time, but if you put too many in there, it's just an absolute log jam. Uh, looks like one of my blues has already, um, oh, two of them, have already got to the uh, the mini tubes. That's supposed to be, like, I'm not quite sure, this this is a magic tube, I haven't, haven't actually worked out exactly how it works, but... Uh oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're going to the top route, okay, that's fine. I'll allow this, this is actually probably the trickier one, because that barrier is, there, oh, that's very straightforward. And... Oof. Team Blue won without much interference at all. Right, let's build a new track. So this is where you, you always start with this. I'm just going to delete it immediately. We have a little start point. In fact, I'm going to make, um, I'm going to start somewhere else. I'm going to put it well high. And let's have a let's have a bit more of a vertical course this time. Oh, hang on. There we go. It's very hard to see. Actually, get the camera to get too high up. So let's try. Um, first of all, let's have another platform up here. 
I wanted this to go down as soon as possible, to be honest. So we have a few weird tubes. That one of them is a vertical one, which you want to use. So let's place this there. Well, actually, let's have a ramp, um, a funnel. That might be easier to work with. Although I'm not sure how they're going to get to it there. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe let's have a tube there. I, th I think this might be as high as we can go, actually, so I can't actually put the tube where I want it to go. So we may need, in fact, to ramp up, I think. Let's get rid of that. And let's see, we need we need it to go into a... We need a, a tube thing, so if we put that there... Let's also put a speed up in, just for larks and giggles. You can test this out at any time by bugging on a hamster. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe let's not have a speed up. They do find it tricky to get into the tubes, though. Oh god, let's just put loads of our... I mean... There, some of them are getting in. Nice. I really should try to investigate what these do. Magic tube, magic tube, magic, magic tube! Yep, there they go. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a bit odd. I don't think we can work with this. Although, I think it might be random where they appear. Hmm. Also, sh <laughs> shout out to the hamsters that got stuck and didn't make it. Oh, God. Oh, they're coming out of my... Ah! <laughs> they're coming out of the one on my cursor. Ugh. Let's go for a bit of randomness. I've got rid of the funnel. It was <laughs> it was not helping. God, this is so stupid. <laughs> Ugh. So, we do need one way of them to win. I guess. I guess we could do that. Let's just... Let's have it so they, they pop out there, potentially. We just want them to bounce their way to victory. Okay, bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Oh! Up, 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 up. <laughs> there. And also, just to make it a little bit easier. Like that. And of course, what we also need is the golden plushie. Boop! Right. Let's have a go. Yes! They don't know where they're going. But they will go over to the right. Oh dear, they're, they're having a bit of a time. I'm hoping. Yes, there we go. Oh, sh <laughs> I saw a design flaw there. Way! <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm going for an actual race. Despite how ridiculous this is. Oh, hello, someone's already made it. A blue lad. There you go. Unfortunately, you'll keep on respawning on the jump pads. I don't think you're going to make it, are you? <laughs> I should have done some more testing of this course, I think. Oh, here he goes. Off he goes. Will he get up in the air? Oh, don't go back that way. Hang on, click. Oh, you'll... Oh, here we go. Yes! That was pure skill. Uh... <laughs> Somehow. Oh, God. This is less than ideal. This, this is a bad course. But shush. I should, I should point out as well that um, um, financially, um, you can just build a trivial course and then just keep on earning money that way. So really, um, don't treat this as a goal-oriented game. But one of the good thing I wanted to mention is that you can share your courses using a text string, using the copy and paste facility. Uh, I did notice on the itch.io page that this game's on sale on, as well as on the Patreon, uh, for um, Sock Pop. Um, you can... There's someone had actually pasted in the comments a course. So I think the person who made this um, goes by the name of Zandra. And this is their course, so let's just have a let's just jump straight in. Let's bet. Let's bet the farm. Well, we can only bet twenty quids worth of farm. That's probably just the pond. So let's try Team Red. Right, stay back, Blue. Stay back. There we go. Where are you going? Oh, you, oh, okay. Oh, right, okay. So some of them go right and some of them go left. We're on Team Red. Team Red seem to be doing a lot better. Unfortunately, they've got. Oh, oh, hello. Shortcut. Ooh, okay. So that magic pipe is a little shortcutty poos. And we have what? 180 quid for that. Excellent. That's a nasty little. Oh my god, look, the respawning thing really makes things a bit chaotic. Nice. So, yes, you can get this from itch.io or from the um, Sockpot Patreon. Um, a lot of fun just playing around and seeing what works and what doesn't. 
Um, very cool indeed. So uh, do um, subscribe to Randomized User. Uh, that's me. Um, to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games around. And do check me out on Buy Me A Coffee. If you want to tip the channel, say thank you and help us find more of these weird little games. Uh, bye for now.